As the only mammal capable of flight, bats have developed some innovative strategies to cope with the extreme stresses of flying, an energy-consuming activity that drives up their body temperature and can cause plenty of cell stresses and injuries, such as DNA damage that accumulate throughout the body. But while our bat flaps away unperturbed, such stresses in any other mammal, like us humans, would activate an internal defense mechanism called an inflammasome that can lead to serious damage to cells and organs and drive a broad spectrum of diseases, including autoimmune and autoinflammatory illnesses, infectious, cardiovascular, metabolic, and even neurodegenerative diseases. So scientists at Duke NUS Medical School set out to discover what makes bats so resilient by studying what happens when a white blood cell detects a threat like a virus. After enveloping the virus, the cell activates its inflammasome, which in humans leads to the activation of other parts of the immune system. While the human inflammasome begins to assemble, bats have developed ways to keep their immune system under control. One of these tricks is to produce a powerful protein called ASC2, which clamps down on the activity of the inflammasome. Humans too produce ASC2, but because it is a weakened version of the protein, the inflammasome can spin out of control, leading to a whole lot of damage and a host of diseases. The ability to dampen their inflammatory responses means that bats can also carry many viruses without getting sick and enjoy an unusually long lifespan given their small size. So could the human ASC2 protein be baptized to help us? When the scientists compared the two proteins, they identified four key differences that make bat ASC2 so effective. When the human ASC2 protein obtains these mutations, it too becomes superpowered like its bat cousin, offering a possible new treatment approach for many different inflammasome-driven illnesses and maybe even help slow aging. <laughs>